All right, let's dig in and see how many different ways you can zoom in and navigate around your Photoshop document. To start, I'm going to switch to the Zoom tool. If I pause for two seconds, it'll tell me that the letter Z jumps me to that tool. When I zoom in, let's say I want to see this guy's left eye, I simply click. Each click is zooming to a preset increment. And if you'd like to zoom out, you hold down your Alt or Option key and click. Or, if you're not such a keyboard shortcut fanatic, you can go to the View menu and choose Zoom Out. View, Zoom Out, and Zoom In is also there. Now, rather than using a menu all the time, I do find it much faster to hit Command minus on the Mac or Control minus on Windows to zoom out, and Command plus or Control plus to zoom in. Now, Photoshop never actually shows you the document size. I don't know if this guy is 18 inches wide, 10 inches wide, 3 inches wide. So I can check image and image size and see that he's 14.4 inches. That was your image menu and image size. I'll click OK and I'll notice my zoom level is 25%. If I click back on the small version of this guy, small being the file size is small, this is also at 25%. And if I go to Image and Image Size, you'll see he's only 6 inches wide. But this is 25% of this image. This is 25% of that image. If you have a higher resolution, Photoshop will zoom in closer showing you more pixels. If you have a lower resolution, Photoshop will be further zoomed out. Moving your mouse down here and clicking also shows you your width, height, color space, and resolution. This page icon indicates that this is giving you information either on the page or the document that you're working on. To the right of the file sizes, you have many different things that you can see. Do I want to see the document dimensions all the time? Do I want to see the current tool I'm on, which is helpful when you're learning? This way I could see that I'm on the Move tool, the Rectangular Marquee, the Lasso, and I'll go back to the Zoom tool. If I keep clicking to zoom in, double-clicking on the Zoom tool goes to 100%. But I'm already at 100, so let's zoom in even further. Now double-clicking always goes to 100%. But maybe I'd like to see a fit-in-window version. That's when the Hand tool comes into play. Hand is great for clicking and dragging to visually move around your screen. And this is called tossing the screen. As I click and drag quickly and let my mouse go, it kind of reminds me of my iPhone the way it navigates around with my finger. If you don't have an extended video card or accelerated video, this tossing may not work. It may simply click and drag and when you let go, remain still instead of clicking and dragging and having your screen keep moving. That brings me back to the fit in window. I can simply double click on my hand tool and on every image that will fit in window. If I click once back on the zoom tool, and that's an important note for the new users out there, you don't need to double click to activate a tool. Double click, double click, save yourself twice the clicking every day. One click keeps a tool on until you do one click to change tools. So one click for zoom, double click for 100%. I'm there. One click for the hand tool, double click for fit in window. The other way to fit in window is view. And I say fit in window because I'm such a heavy InDesign and Illustrator user. Hitting Command-0 or Control-0 in Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and Acrobat is fit in window. 
And actually, I teach Flash as well. And before I even begin using Flash, I assign a keyboard shortcut to fit in window because none exists. They have the menu command, but they don't use command zero or on the Windows platform control zero. So since it doesn't have one, I make one. That way Flash looks and feels like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and Acrobat to me. Actual pixels or command one, control one on the PC, is 100%. And I'm going to hit Command-0 or Control-0 to fit back in window. And that was your little tour of using the Zoom tool, the Hand tool, and some quick ways to navigate. In review for the keyboard shortcut fanatics, if I'm on the Move tool and I hit the letter H, it jumps to Hand. Since I'm at 100%, the Hand doesn't move. If I hit Command plus or Control plus, I zoom in. Command minus or Control minus zooms out. The letter Z will go to my zoom tool. Clicking zooms in to the spot you're clicking on. And Command zero or Control zero fits back in window. The letter V for move goes back to my move tool, the one I primarily sit on when I'm not using the tools below. Test these shortcuts out for yourself. You can pause and rewind the video and practice along with it.